and I have loved every single present that I've got. Maybe not this the way. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Gemma here. I hope you are all doing well and I know that we are in January but I thought I would let you see what I got for my Christmas. So I absolutely love these types of videos and I wasn't sure whether or not it's a bit late to put this online but I put a wee poll on Instagram and you guys said no definitely let's see what you got for Christmas. So obviously I'll put that disclaimer out there. I did ask if you wanted to see it and you said yes. I am no way bragging what I got for Christmas. I We don't overly indulge at Christmas anyway, but I just thought there's some really nice pieces that people have bought me that I just wanted to show you. And obviously I have said thank you to every single person that's bought me these things, but no doubt I will say thank you throughout this whole video um, to everybody that got me them. You might see there's a bit of a running theme um, when you go through this video and it's obviously because people know me so well. So if you would like to see what I got for Christmas, then keep watching. So this year, myself and Thomas had decided, right, we're not going to go over the top with each other because we go on holiday, it's our wedding anniversary, we have been out throughout the full of December, we were away to Edinburgh, doing loads of things, we've spent so much money, let's not go crazy. So we decided to put a budget on it for each other and I think probably both of us would over budget slightly, but we done extremely well for each other. So I'm going to show you the first thing that he got me, which is this beautiful coat that I have been wearing. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this in a few outfit of the day posts. He got it from Primark and he is just as big a bargain hunter as I am because if you remember rightly from a few Primark calls ago, I got this coat in green and it was reduced in the sale to £15 and I absolutely loved the purple one but they didn't have the purple one I don't think in my size. And look what I got for my Christmas and it's just so nice on. The material is nice and lightweight so it's going to last through spring, summer I think and it's just really really gorgeous rich colour and see the amount of people that have said how nice it is when I'm wearing it. It's been quite a lot so well done Thomas that is my, I think that is probably one actually of my, my favourite pieces that I've got this Christmas. Thomas also got me some perfume from Zara and it's called Talent Inside and smells absolutely gorgeous. I don't, I'm not like a fan of really expensive perfume or anything like that. I do like one expensive perfume and it's my wedding perfume which is Valentine A by Valentino and I buy that now and again or ask for it as a present now and again and actually <laughs> My bottles have about got about that much left in it, so I might be having a look and seeing if I can get a good price on that. So this Christmas, all I asked for was is people to buy me perfumes from like Zara, Next, New Look, basically any sort of cheaper ones that I can just use. I like using different ones all the time, so I don't like overly expensive ones. And that one is just perfect, it smells beautiful. He also got me one of these sort of beauty bags, so you put all your makeup in it. And then it means that you can sort of lay everything out and then just pull it together. So really, really handy. Um, obviously, he's telling me something that I'm a bit messy. But no, he was like that to me. I've got you this and I don't even know what it is. But it's really, it's going to be really, really handy and perfect for taking on holiday or weekends away or just in the morning actually. Just open all your stuff out and then you can put it together and just put it back in the drawer. And there's no mess. He also got me this really nice blazer for my Christmas. Look, it's sort of black, white and check. It's not like your usual blazer, so it's not buttons. It's actually got a sort of tie around it. So this is really, really nice. And I just thought that would be nice with jeans, t-shirt, nice wee polar neck under it. And it's going to be perfect for winter, but also maybe just wear a little t-shirt on and jeans and heels for a night out in the springtime. Obviously he could not get me a hat for my Christmas and he got me this mustard one with the biggest pom-pom on the top of it. So it's got cream and mustard pom-pom 
and let me just show you on it is the cutest hat how nice is that look so nice so i absolutely love that you know me i love a hat so this was a perfect gift for me many of you may already know that i am a bit of a gin lover so what do you get a gin lover a gin selection box <laughs> so you've got tankery then you've got Ophir, which I have never tried before, so I'm excited to try that. Gordon's, and I'm going to be a bit controversial here, but actually Gordon's is probably one of my favourite gins. I like it, and that's it. And then JJ Whitley gin. So I have, the other night I was like, I'm going to try one, and then I thought, no, I'm not. I'm just going to keep them, because I really like them in the little house box. You've got a lemon tonic, Sicilian lemon tonic, all fever tree the light tonic normal tonic and then the mediterranean tonic which i've tried before which is lovely so i'm excited to try this i'll be trying this when i come back my holidays now one of the doublers that i got this year was another little gin and it is the gingerbread gin liqueur from asda now if you shake it look at the colors in that how nice is that so it's a gin liqueur so it is 20% rather than like normal gin at 40 but it says it's crafted using ginger and cinnamon flavours with a delightful seasonal sip it is gorgeous I've had it um in well I've had it just straight with some ice and it's lovely and then I've had it mixed in with I think it was lemonade or maybe it was tonic and it was equally as nice it actually doesn't taste very ginger like though it tastes more like toffee but it's very nice. So I've got, actually I've got two bottles of this because Thomas got me one and my mum got me one. Now one thing that I was really, really needing this year was a new purse. And he got me this nice black one. It's got like Santa's gold buckle on the front of it. And then you open it and then it's got a wee bit here that you can put some pictures in, your cards, zip bit, keep your notes in there. And it's sort of an ideal size for me. The one that he got me, I think about three or four years ago, was from River Island and I've had it that length of time. It's lasted me that length of time, but it is done now. The leather has almost got that baggy that the cards and everything fall out of it because it's been used that much. So this is a perfect gift for me. So this thing, when I seen it, I was a bit like, really, did you pick that for me? But then I tried it on and I was like, oh, I like it. Look, it is a red, purple, burgundy purple, and gold glittery pencil skirt and it's lovely i just thought that would be really nice just with a black top or maybe a t-shirt some heels you could even maybe wear it with tights and boots and yeah so that is he done well didn't he with clothes he done very well this year with clothes saying that he probably comes shopping with me enough and sees me buying things that he knows exactly what i like now this next present, I don't know whether or not he's telling me I'm a bit untidy or what, but he has got me like these little clear drawers and then this to go on top, which is obviously like for your makeup brushes and stuff and lipsticks. And then you can put your makeup in there or maybe like some earrings. But yeah, it's probably ideal for my dressing room because where my makeup and everything is or even where my jewellery is, it is a little bit messy, so... Now, unfortunately, you're not going to see any sort of Gucci bags or Chanel bags in this Christmas haul. Um, I have got one that is a copy of a Gucci bag, and I love it. It is so, so nice. It is black velvet, and it's a C and a G. Now, I know, actually, I didn't, didn't ask for it because it was a copy of a Gucci bag. I asked for it because... I actually really liked it and I just thought it was really nice. You can wear it dressy or casual and it's just black velvet and gold. Nice chain, you can make it long or you can make it short. Whatever you take your fancy, wear it over you. It's a nice size, it fits my vlogging camera in there. Plus makeup, my purse, oh, my old purse is in there. As you can see that's quite a big one, it takes up a lot of space. Um, so yeah, this is such a gorgeous little bag. Now this is actually from eBay and I have already put the link of this on my Instagram so you've maybe seen that. If you would like the link for it then just send me a DM on Instagram and I'll send you the link for it but it's just from eBay. If you don't follow me on Instagram it's the.lifestyle.hunter and send me a message and I'll let you know. 
So you may have watched the Christmas Day vlog. If you've not, then it's a couple of videos back. Go and watch it. See what we got up to in Christmas Day. So a couple of weeks ago, I had said to Thomas, right, let's do the £10 stocking challenge for the YouTube channel. So you go and buy £10 worth of stuff for a stocking and I'll go and buy £10 worth of stuff for you for a stocking and then we'll do a wee video and it'll be quite funny. And he says, okay. And then he came back for his shop and he was like, oh, I've got the I've got the stuff for the £10 stocking challenge. And I was like, oh, brilliant. And he was like, yeah, wait till you see it. I can't wait to see your face in Christmas morning. It's going to be funny, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, it's not for Christmas. This isn't an actual stocking. This is for the channel. And he was like, oh, no, this is actually now your stocking. So this is my £10 Christmas challenge stocking perfume it was from Primark it said it was £2 some chocolate coins obviously gin flavour and prosecco flavoured sweet at work I always lose my calculator so he got me a calculator for scrubbing my fake tan off some exfoliating gloves a little beauty blender so he said that I needed a new ice tray so he got me an ice tray for taking off my makeup he got me some face wipes so he basically said I need them to take off my tan and I need them to take off my makeup. I need to smell nice. I need to get myself a calculator. So I've now got one. I've now got a tray that's not broken. I always moan about having a beauty blender. And some sweets. He said he had a pound left and he didn't know what to get me. So he got me a pound land mug. That was a pretty thoughtful stocking. £10 stocking challenge. I don't, do you know what? I didn't even add it up to see if it came to £10. But his stocking challenge, I ended up getting him stuff for a £10 stocking challenge and it was just as equally as good. Now I think what we'll do now is we'll move on to what my mum got me. So mum got me another one of these little beauty box things. So that's what they're called, beauty box. And this one was a bit more expensive than the one that Thomas got me. This looks as if it was from Debenhams rather than Amazon. But I think the actual like the actual way that they work is exactly the same this one comes in in a little bag so you can put it if you're not using it then you can put it in here to protect it and i will definitely that means i've got one for at home and then one for going on holiday she also got got me a cheeky little primark voucher 25 pound primark voucher she also got me some perfumes she got me one from zara tuber rose and next cashmere that has been in my favourites videos because I absolutely love it and she also got me the gold as well which I have had previously as well and it is absolutely gorgeous and she got me the velvety rose candle number 14 and it smells absolutely amazing so she got me that as well I love a candle now I can never ever find the perfect mascara and she knows that so she got me a box of Lancome mascaras so there's four in this box and they're sort of all different brushes I'll just show you a couple of them they're all black so that's just a sort of normal brush one and then the one that I've got on today which I was like oh my god this one is the drama one and I have no lashes at all and today I don't know if you can sort of see that it's like a wiggly brush today I actually have lashes this one is the volume one and it's it's like one of the little plastic pointy brushes with the tiny, tiny little bristles on it. And then wait till you see this one. I'll, I'll just show you them all, will I? Yeah. It's like super pointy, so it gets right into the corners. It's great and excellent for your bottom lashes. So that is a perfect, perfect gift for me. And it means I've got lots of mascara that will last me for ages. So you've got a full one that you can put in your makeup bag. And then these ones are going to be perfect for going on holiday or taking away for the weekend. As I said, mum got me a bottle of the gingerbread gin liqueur, but she also got me gingerbread diffuser from Next, which I've not opened yet because it just seems too pretty to take out the box. It's like a little cracker and then it's got a little gingerbread man on the front of it. So I know that that is going to smell absolutely gorgeous. She said that she smelled it in the shop and it smelled amazing. Mum also got me a little bit of jewellery. So she knows how much I love bangles and she got me a nice new bangle. So it's got a little love heart on it and then a little circle on it and it is just gorgeous. It's so, so me and it's a little extendable bracelet, sterling silver and I just absolutely love it. It's so nice and simple. I'm not one for 
like really really flashy jewellery or anything like that I like simple things and I absolutely love that so that is also one of my favourite Christmas presents as well we all know I love a print and my mum knows I love a print so she got me this gorgeous little ready orange shift dress and it is the softest softest little dress from Zara it's gorgeous we didn't think it was going to fit me but it does it's in a large she got me it in the large so it does fit me it just looked a little bit narrow and um, but it's perfect on and i just i've wore that through to edinburgh already and i wore it just with tights and over the knee boots and it looked lovely so the next thing that i got for my christmas now people did get as money gave as money as well but obviously I've, i'm not going to show money on the the channel um but thomas's gran bought me this gorgeous look how cute this little berry is i absolutely love a berry and she got me a little gray one with some matching gloves which are the coziest they're almost like see like the thermal ones they've got a nice little pattern on them they've got some silvery gold glitter through them and i absolutely love this do you know what? That's probably one of my favourite Christmas presents as well. That just that we set because it's just, I feel as if it's just so me. She also got me some bath bombs that I used last night and some Prosecco and raspberry mallows. I told you, there's a theme, there's a theme. From my little nephew or my stepsister, um, they got us a little present each. So they got us some, I got me some perfume and a little hand moisturising just pink. It is the nicest, gorgeous, smelling perfume from next and it always reminds me of my aunt because she used to always wear it and you know how we love a cheeky voucher when we go away then they have got us a 25 pound it is on voucher for us to go on and buy a voucher which means we can pick anywhere we want to spend it or we can maybe put it towards something so ideal christmas presents so thank you very much and thomas's aunt and uncle got us a joint christmas present they got us a 25 pound gift voucher to go to a local restaurant which i cannot wait to go to because we've not been before and thomas's mum and dad also got a voucher so i think we're going to go as a foursome they gave us some chocolates and another little candle as well because everybody knows that Gemma loves a candle talking about candles I got a Yankee candle, I got the pink sands which is just beautiful, I always remember actually my nephew getting me one of a small one of these for my birthday one year and I only ever really burned it a little bit because it was a tiny little one so when they got me this I was absolutely delighted. They also got me some nice body lotion, hand lotion and just like hand soap kind of things out Marks and Spencers that are up in the bathroom now and I'm using them so that smells absolutely lovely. Last but not least, Thomas's mum and dad, they asked me what I would like for my Christmas and I said I basically just want jammies and a house coat and they got me two pairs of pyjamas, ones with cats on them. Now, unfortunately, because as I said, it's now January, I have worn them and you probably have seen them on my Instagram stories. There's ones with little cats on them and people went absolutely crazy for these cat pyjamas. So they were from Primark, but look at this house coat. It is like a sort of neon pinky orange and it is the softest, coziest house coat ever. I said to her, I want you to try and get me it in the biggest, get me in the house coat, the biggest size that you can get me. Just so that I can basically like live in a little cocoon of cozy and warmness because the house coat that I've got is just a sort of grey shorter one and I've had it for years and I wanted a new one just to be all nice and cozy so see the first thing I did on Boxing Day was rip open the pyjamas, take the labels off this, go have a shower, get into my new jammies, new house coat, fluffy socks and lay in the couch all day so it was a perfect, perfect Boxing Day with my new house coat. Thomas's mum and dad also gave us money as well for a Christmas and then we just got some stocking fillers. So I got a new diary and a pen, which I always say I need a diary. And then halfway through January, I stopped using it. But this year, I feel it's going to be a busy year. So I'm going to start using this diary. But everybody's birthdays in it, put um, all the events and everything that are going to be coming up. And it means that I'm going to be nice and organised. She got me some vino rosy wine with some nice fluffy socks love that she got me some new makeup brushes always love a makeup brush and there is some little 
like eye ones there which I'm in desperate need of so that is absolutely perfect and she got me this perfume from Next that I had never ever tried before I didn't even know that it existed and it's called Thanks a Million and it's Silver Fizz and it smells gorgeous so nice I don't know if that's maybe like the limited edition one that they bring out for Christmas but really really nice well, 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 I must have been a good girl in 2018 to get all these absolutely gorgeous presents. I am so thankful for every one of them because I feel that people have genuinely thought, do you know what, Gemma's going to like that, I'm going to get that for her and I have loved every single present that I've got. Maybe not this the way. But if you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. If you are new around here, then hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all in my next video.